Jarvis Biker. June 20th, 2020. Just heading out for a little ride. So the restrictions have lifted in the Haldeman Norfolk area, not just up to Branford, but uh, down here as well. So now you can have social distanced seating outside. Um, social distancing uh, seating uh, has to be in a fenced off patio type setting. Okay, thank you. And so we were out last night. The original plan was to go to the Keg Steakhouse, which is, you know, when you're a little bit higher up than standard steakhouses. So dressed ready to head out the door and we got a phone call from them stating that there was a thunderstorm warning in effect and that they were closing down for the evening because everything is outside so okay so then we rerouted our plan we went to the Boston Pizza in um, Simcoe sat down had a great time and hello had a great time good food it was nice to get out it was nice to have people serve me a couple of cold beers and uh, it rescued the night so and never a drop of rain the whole night both storms there was two and they went by on either side like of the Hamilton area it kind of went over and then the other one went like over on the other side of the lake like on the US side going in the opposite direction it was almost like they were spinning past each other and uh, we never got a drop so the other big fancy restaurant blew a whole night's income because they didn't check the radar because I was going to bring it up to them when they were talking to me that hey you know I, I looked at the radar and it's showing that it's going to miss both sides of us so I think maybe their bigger concern was possibly that they were worried about lightning which we never got either never saw any never heard any so yeah, so we rescued the night. Boston Pizza pulled one out for us on that one. And uh, Princess has to go to work now this afternoon. It's 2.04 p.m. Temperature is 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Um... Yeah, just gonna sneak a little ride in. I've been invited on a bike ride tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. It's gonna be a bunch of Harley guys. We'll be the only Honda, and I know for sure we'll be the only one wired up like this one is, so. Princess is interested. She hasn't fully committed to the trip, so we'll see. See how tired she is after tonight. tonight's work. She may want to just relax. So, 
Um, some of the ones on this ride will probably be ones that are going on the Northern Ontario excursion, the eight day ride. So, uh, possibly be getting scrutinized on my riding just to make sure I'm not a goof head. So, Pretty sure all they gotta do is look at my videos, they'll see it. Everything's pretty steady most of the time. So here's my question for today, and I don't know whether anybody's noticed of the Moto Vlogging group. I've been pretty quiet other than a couple of videos coming out, but I haven't been online chirping and chattering with a lot of them, and the, some of my Goldwing groups I've been pretty quiet. And I don't know whether anybody else is feeling this way, but do you ever get burnt out from watching internet whether it be YouTube Facebook Instagram uh, Twitter whatever it is uh, what you what you use at your own peril do you, do you ever just get tired of it and I think what's happened with me what I think is happening with me is because of the shutdown and because we've been kind of shut in for months, you know, we're getting out for rides, but other than that, there's, there was no going out and sitting and chatting with friends like we did last night. There was nothing that we, we didn't go out and see our favorite waitresses. We didn't. You know, we haven't been able to do that, and are you just sick of it that it's like you got to find something else to do? I mean, if it's curl up in a ball fetal position and and just not not look at any of it, and I don't think it's depression. I just think it's. I got freaking bored. I mean, everybody's got good content. You know, the, the guys are out there. I'm watching the videos. I just don't seem to be partaking in them. I'll watch them. A couple of them I'll like it or whatever. I do, I did comment, you know, I'll say thanks for the ride or, you know, but I just, man, I just, I haven't been into it and I don't, I don't know. I think it's a phase. I think we're, I just gotta, once we get out and get doing stuff and once these trips come up, I think I'll get re-energized with it and, you know, cause you know, the content will be there. And I mean, it's not, how many times can you ride up the Lakeshore Road and make it interesting and talk about different things? Uh, so, that's that's what I've been doing and maybe we can get some comments going if anybody else is doing the same if you're not I know have Moto will travel he had a couple of down down days there where he wasn't feeling too too into it and you know he had to go off to the Cape and regenerate and Seems to be coming back with a vengeance. He's got video, he's got plans, he's... 
So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're feeling it or if everything's good. I know everybody's pretty much got plans that they've been holding back on and holding back and holding back. I know that's been going on, so put in the put in the just put in the comments where you're planning on going, what you want to do. Let other people know that you know you're going to be in these places, and that if you know there's a chance that there's some networking can go on. That's cool. It'd be a good place, and I'd, I'd like to see that come out of this YouTube world that I'm in right now that I can actually start to get enough people that it starts to network to others and and uh, can grow so let me know write it down okay so the rest of the trip today uh, I'm gonna try to do a little bit more checking on the roads from the Mild May uh, Harley's Pub and Perk trip. I want, it, I want it down solid. I want the route like perfect so that when I get back from my Northern Ontario trip, I'm not freaking out that morning because it's the next two days later, I, I'm on that ride leading it. And, I got, I'm gonna have like 10 bikes behind me and I better know what the hell I'm doing, so. So I'm not gonna rely on GPS. I'm gonna rely on that I know the route. And then the rest of it, the rest of it can be GPS because it doesn't matter which way you go. All the roads are dead straight. There's no, there's no rolling through uh, twisties. It just the, those roads don't exist up there. They're it the the whole place is on a perfectly square grid. I think they laid down a chalk line all the way when they when they cut those roads through there. They are just dead straight. So. So that's how I want to do it. I want it memorized. I've been a few different ways and I've finally found the best way um, to get through that part. And it's very similar to the uh, Alora Gorge ride that we take for part of it, but only for part of it. And I changed up some of it just so that it wasn't the same for that part and made it a little bit longer, which is fine because the ride is exactly two and a half hours. When, uh, Exactly two and a half hours from, hey buddy, from uh, Simcoe to uh, Mild May. So, I get that down so that it's solid in my memory and then after that we can uh, relax. So I'll probably end up in Mild May because it's like 2, 20 after 2 now. I'll probably do the whole trip up, but So I'll come back when I start into that. I got a little 
just going to go up this way a little bit first and see what's open for maybe uh, maybe a little uh, evening ride for dinner up here this way so uh, you got to be resourceful in these tough times so we'll get back bye so it's all pretty flat farmland around so we're up uh, Perth, North Perth County. We are on County Road 23. Next turn will be on to 86. Beautiful landscape. Roads are dead straight. A little bend here or there, but nothing. Nothing for a biker's dream, but. It is pretty up here. Sounds like we got construction up here. says it's only for two weeks so that won't affect the ride should be able to get around it less the wall we are there through here a few weeks back but we went the other way like we came at it from the side so we got about another half hour to get to our destination Lots of ponies up around here, working horses and playing horses and riding horses. Quite a few. Got some beef cows, got some baby beavers. Beautiful country. Horse farm, beefers, lots of beef, lots of horses. Turn it into another farm report. Could see for miles. You get up on a high point, holy man. She pretty. Where are we? Molesworth. I don't know if that's, is this a mill? Farm supply, that must be a mill. Moldsworth Farm Supply, MFS. <laughs> See, pretty good. Pretty good for an old guy figuring that stuff out.
up on this hill and see what we can see. Liquid manure. No, not on my bike. No. Come on, you. Somebody turned on the pump coming down the road. It's dried up, but still, it's going to be on the bottom. Oh, well, we'll have to scrub her up for the big ride tomorrow. Need a drink of water. Breeze, the boy is perched. Everybody got flowers.
are in Mild May, Ontario. Must be a wilderness park, it says, but they got ATVs all covered in mud. Arrive at Bill Bay on the right. Thank you. There's Harley's Pub on the left. It's a gas station up here. We better get fuel now. Where the hell's the gas station? Arriving at Mill Bay on the right. 